am Ronelli Williams. I'm Kim Jones. And I am a certified public accountant. And together with my husband, we own ERJ Services, providing tax services to individuals and tax and bookkeeping services to entrepreneurs. And along with Kim, I am the co-host of the Lyft Conference. And we just had our first annual conference um, back in November, um, where we empowered 80 80 strong entrepreneurs to finish 2016 strong and transform their life and business in 2017. And I am an author, a coach, a career strategist. I help women go from vision to victory. And this lift movement is going to continue. It is empowering women. They are learning so much about themselves and how to really just hit the ground running for 2017. I ain't that shit. It's about self-empowerment. It's about self-awareness. It's about self-respect. Everyone, welcome to another episode of I Ain't That Chick. I am your host, Rayshawn Tay, and I do have two phenomenal women here with me today. Ladies, please say hello and introduce yourselves. Hi, Hi everyone. I'm Ronelli. I'm Kim. And you ladies just hosted a fantastic, powerful movement, Empowering Women. And the name of your movement, I call it a movement, because when we, yes. when we empower women, that's a movement that's in a and movement. of itself. And it was called LIFT. Can one of you tell us what LIFT stands for? LIFT stands for Ladies Being Intentional About Finishing Strong in 2016 and Transforming in 2017. Uh, okay, that's, that's a, a mouth. What made, you come up, what made you come up and say, you know what, They're, women need to finish strong. Did you see pe women not setting goals, maybe women getting stuck, maybe women um, finding themselves fearful of s accomplishing some of their goals, starting businesses? What inspired LIFT? I saw myself getting stuck. Yeah, really? <laughs> I did. I saw myself getting stuck and I um, I actually saw Kim post something on Facebook. Um, what was the name of your Redesign program? Your Redesign life. Your Life. And I'm like, I like That's that. Nice. I Redesign that. Your Life. And, you know, I am the Legacy Building Catalyst. That's what I'm, I'm known as. And I help people with their finances just to be good stewards and to put a budget in place and plan for the future mm -hmm. and leave a legacy behind. And so I had that program. We came together. I like the Redesign Your Life. I'm like, we can mm -hmm. do something together with that. And so we came up with a two and a half hour workshop back in June, Redesign Your Life and Master Your Money. Wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, you know, the response that we got, the ladies who were there, they were, you know, so empowered. They were like, we need more of this. We need more. We need more. And especially in this area, in the Pocono in, Mountain area. On this area. Right. But you guys, I, I'm from Jersey and I came to the workshop. So right. you are attracting women from everywhere, right? Right. Now tell me three things that you left the ladies with in that workshop as far as redesigning your life and mastering your money. Well, the redesigning your life, their blueprint. Um, we left them with how to master their money and oh, we just Lord. yeah that that was an awesome piece because like Vanelli said before you know her passion is showing people how to be good stewards over right. their over their money I think a lot of times we are not good stewards over our money <laughs> and then the third piece I think we left them with was just um, empowerment and confidence in themselves mm -hmm. to do those things Wow okay do you find that women a lot of women are fear for maybe they lack empowerment maybe they don't know how to tell oh, yeah, about definitely, there and, and you know what were some of the challenges that you saw well let's start with ourselves first I'll start with okay. me first with confidence of just getting started a lot of times we know that we can do something but we don't know the power of our own worth and that's a big piece of being stuck and I think a lot of women out there are stuck not knowing what their first next step should be because they don't have that confidence in themselves to do it awesome that's awesome. What about you? What are some of the things you saw? Yeah, one show? of the things, there were a few people who had this vision inside of them, but didn't mm -hmm. know how to birth that vision. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't know what the first steps were. You know, how do I even know what my target market is? So that was one of the things that, you know, okay. I focused on at that conference. And, you know, ladies left like, I'm ready. I'm ready to step out. I'm ready to do this. So for somebody that's watching and they may have a vision and they may be stuck not knowing how to get started, 
whatever field, what, what's like one piece of advice you would say as far as getting started? I definitely would, you know, and a lot of people hear the word business plan and they get scared because they yes. think of this big, humongous yes. document. Yes. But honestly, every business owner needs to have a business plan you to get started. That. Yes. You did. Yes. And that's one of the things I spoke about at the Lyft conference, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we definitely need to start with that, putting that vision down on paper. Okay. You know, start with that vision and then you think about what's the next step. You know, so your business plan is going to help you bring out who your target market is. Okay. You know, what their pain points are so that you, you can address those pain mm -hmm. points, right? You don't come up with a program, you know, um, just out of the air because who are you targeting? Who are you putting that out there for? Right. What are you addressing? Right. So you have to know your target market, what their pain points are, and then be able to, you know, provide what would... Um, you know what would address but now what if that sounds so overwhelming to some people yeah. <laughs> what do you do that because a lot of people they make sure then they say oh god that's too much work i can't do that so let me just go back into being stuck let me go back into my corner right so then you need an accountability partner right somebody that's going to push you right somebody that's going to get you going somebody that's going to motivate you empower you tell you that you can do it so having an accountability partner is key. Yeah. And would you recommend just like checking in or do you give them a list of your goals and dreams? No, you give them a list of your goals, tell them what you want to do. Like Vanelli, I'm telling you. Now, some people, listen. This is powerhouse, y'all. <laughs> you're, you're not ready to get started. Don't ask Vanelli. Okay. 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 You only ask Vanelli if you're ready. If you're ready to do it. it sounds like you have a little experience yes. here. Did she get on you? Did she pull yes. you? But look, she pulled you into greatness. Right. Also, mm -hmm. I mean, in greatness. I believe greatness lies within each person. Right. And sometimes it's just dormant. And right. sometimes we just need somebody to help us right. reawaken it. So now, you ladies came together to plan lift. When you met up and you, you started talking, what were some of the ideas that, that start turn, turning over? Well, one of the first things, we wanted a, a place to start, right? We right. wanted a place to start, and so we got you know a plan. We got a blueprint um, that someone created before. You know, a lot of the times we feel like we have to create, it. create you know, right. recreate That's the true. wheel. We don't, don't, you know. You got a plan out. You are a, you're a planner. Right. You, yeah. you, you, right. Because I just will do some stuff. Okay, I'm just going to do it this day. And okay. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, I haven't always been, you know, I have a great coach. I really do. And I've learned a lot from her over the last year. Mm -hmm. And so, and my background is auditing, so it's all about the paperwork. Oh, <laughs> yes. <Kim. laughs> I yes. understand. Yeah. Okay. Although, you know, in my personal life, I wasn't that, you know, that great with, you know, all of the paperwork and doing that. But honestly, you know, working with my coach, it has helped me a lot. You know, I'm part of a mastermind, and, mm. you know, that's where we even got that blueprint from for the conference that we were able to, you know, get that that um, document that we can check off. Okay, this is the first step, you know. Who are we targeting? How are we gonna, you know, reach out to them? Um, are we gonna get sponsors for the event? You know, okay. all that was laid out in that document. And you made it, you ladies made it happen. It was fan. Fantastic. I sat there and took some Thank notes like, you. okay, Nate, you need to you need to step it up, you need to brush it up. So now we are closing 2016. And what tips would you maybe share with some women that need to just step it up a notch? Maybe need to step up out of their fear zone and accomplish something. Well, first of all, is it too late to accomplish some goals for 2016? No, never, too, never late. too late. Never too late. Never too late. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's December 25th, it's still not too late. Still you know why? Because you need to sit down. Think about um, what have you accomplished for the past year? What did you plan to accomplish and what didn't you accomplish, right? What went well, what didn't go so well? Why didn't it go so well? You have to think about all these things. You have to look at it. You have to yes. look at it. Mm -hmm. Look at it, it and write it down. Write the vision and make, make it plain. plain. Yes. Yeah, write it down and decide, okay, I didn't accomplish this, this is why but now I can learn from it mm -hmm. and move forward. You know, do I still have some time in 2016 that I can make this happen? And if you do, make it happen. Make it if happen. not, put it on your 2017. And make list. sure you do it. And make sure you make do sure it. Make sure you do it. Sure now, you do it. were you as structured uh, and writing things down and planning? No. No. How is it that to work with someone? Because I know people that are watching, 
It's people like me that don't write every stuff. Ugh. It's a challenge. So it's a challenge. Right. How is it working with someone that's a little bit more structured? Does that does that pull on you? Do you do you have moments where you say, you know, I just kind of don't want to? And I'm asking this simply because there are people like this. There are people like you guys. Somebody that's more structured. Somebody that's like us, not as structured. And they're saying like, oh, it might be a challenge. Renelle, if I had to work with you on a bit, I would. Be nervous. I probably got our kids nerve a few times. Well, so how is that? <laughs> this is the thing. The first one, because Vanelli and I hadn't worked together, you know, it was like, who I don't think I could do this. This is a lot mm -hmm. of work. But the second, by the time the second one came around, the second because one, because we saw the vision. Oh, okay. And God was moving in it, yeah. and He wasn't. You know, it wasn't like God was taking His time. This thing was moving, so we didn't have time to sit back and say, "Oh, I can't." No, you know, Vanelli right. had to keep me on the. And one thing she kept telling me, get a plan. Because I don't have a plan. <laughs> but I did go out and get one. Now she got one, okay? Because I don't tend to write things down. You tell me, and I'm like, all right, I go. But I have to remember, we're getting older. Things are not going to just be yes. on the top oh, of my head anymore. Right, exactly. exactly. So, it's, you know, you know, it's, it's a, a bit of a it's challenge. A, right, it's a challenge, but you just get through it. And you grow. Because you see the bigger vision. Awesome. So now, in, in women's empowerment conferences are very popular now. They are hot. What makes Lyft different? than the average women's empowerment mm, conference? That's a good question. I would say, honestly, first of all, that we make God our foundation. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. we make God is the foundation. Right. And anyone who was at the Lyft conference can see that, right? right. You know, we started out with praise and worship. Yeah. Let me tell you, <laughs> I have to bear witness to this. I didn't, we, it was a Sunday, so we didn't go to church. And that worship, I feel the, I feel it right mm -hmm. now that I saw, oh, this is beautiful. Right. This is, if, you guys didn't say a word after the praise and worship. I was empowered by the praise and worship. And then to get some meat after that, oh my gosh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot going on and it was, you know, it was just, you know, according to God's plan that everything just, you know, he made so much provision for the vision that we had. I, you know, I have to say I've never driven an hour in two minutes. For women's conference but it was the best wow and, I, I'm, and i'm being honest that it's the best women's empowerment oh conference that i have been to god be the glory because yeah. yeah. honestly kim and i stepped out on faith yes we you know we had we hadn't and done anything it. like this before you know like we said we did redesign your life master your money a two and a half hour workshop and that was the end of it because right. i reached out to kim you know let's do this let's okay. come you know put something together and we put it together but the feedback said, you need to do it again, mm -hmm. and you need to do it bigger. And so we decided, let's do it. Right. You know. And speaking of doing it and doing it bigger, 2017 is upon us. What are we doing bigger and better oh, in 2017? My <laughs> are we planning? Do we yeah, write anything well, down? We yes. have some things in the works. Yeah. And, yeah. There's going to be lift 2017 yes, of course. in yes. October of 2017. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We're moving it up a little bit. We had it in November. But, um, we were... Lucky with the with the that the weather was good, but we, yes. we don't oh, want to yes. play with that too much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so next year we're gonna do it in um, October, okay. and it will be in this area, not at that hotel because you see that we were packed in that yeah. room. Yes, right? we were. Yeah. It was tight, but that's an that's a yeah. testament to what you're doing because it was packed. You had a full house. Yeah. Well, you know, Vanelli and I had gone to the hotel one night and we had prayed in that room and we had touched every chair and asked God to fill every chair. I just get excited. And that's what he did. Yeah. He did that awesome. for us. That's what makes you guys different. That's what mm -hmm. makes you different. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think that we didn't have our moments, right? right? We had our moments where you know, is this really coming together? Right, you know, right. the, the tickets aren't selling as fast as we right. wanted, but mm -hmm. every step of the way we prayed. Every step in a, of the way we you know, sought people who had more experience, we reached out to them. Okay. You know. And what did they give you? What did they tell you to do? Because people that are watching, they may say, you know what, I want to start a women's empowerment conference or maybe just a little group in my hometown. What kind of advice would you give them? I would definitely say, don't try to do it all alone. That's why. You know, don't try to do it. Someone. Yeah, collaboration is key. Well, Kim and I first started with our little collaboration, but then we reached out, you know, we invited Donna to be part, to be our keynote speaker, yes. but she was so much more right. than she just a so so keynote spe speaker. Mm -hmm. She was with us through the entire process. That's a right? blessing. Yeah. That's a blessing. Exactly. So just get people in your corner who are going to support you, who mm -hmm. are going to be there for you. That's what I would people say. People are going to lift you. Right? Yes. Right. Now, yes. Now, you ladies. <laughs> 
do you, you have different career fields, right? Yes. And I know you, you're doing women's empowerment, but you both individually do something completely different. And I, I say that because lift or doing women's empowerment does not have to be your main focus. Right. Right. And so I want to take a minute and talk to each of you and see what you do individually and then how you bring that together. Okay. Well, I'm a workshop coordinator. Okay. You know, I do workshops and seminars in the That's career awesome. development field. Okay. I used to be a trainer in the banking field. So I'm really? from banking. Okay. I am so straight from okay. banking. 17 years of banking Wow, experience. what made you shift? I had, I used to be a supervisor okay. in the bank and a friend of mine was a trainer. And I kept saying, oh, you know, that looks good, whatever the case is. And then they had two positions available. Well, they had one. They had okay. one position available as a trainer. And it was from, it was down to me and another young lady. She had a bachelor's. I did. Okay. So I didn't get the job. Mm -hmm. A week later, they came back and said, do we have a position. Do you want it? I said, yes. Mm -hmm. And I got That's it. That's right. So I got this job, not even being qualified for this job. Mm -hmm. And from there, my love of speaking just, so I just love being in front of. Awesome. Hundreds of people <laughs> speaking. Wow. <laughs> Being in a small crowd is different, but I could be really. Yeah, I could stand on a stage in front of hundreds of people, thousands of people. That is my dream to do. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm gonna fill a coliseum. Oh, definitely. I'm yeah. speaking in front of women. I'm gonna fill a coliseum. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You guys, but small groups. Yeah. Like, Move over, Joel Osteen. I'm coming over. There you go. <laughs> That's right. There, and you might have some books right. also, mm -hmm. some audio CDs or something like right. that also. Mm -hmm. All right. Now shifting over to you, Miss Renelli. What is it that you do? Well, I'm 20 years, 20 plus years in accounting. Okay. Um, Money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my background in accounting, and I spent um, several years in the auditing field. I were I did external auditing for a public company, and then you um, catch everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Nothing impressed you. laughs> and then I was um, an internal auditor for about six years. Um, and two years ago, I was let go from my job and um, went full time into my business, my accounting firm with my husband that we're building. Yes, that's awesome. awesome. Now that's yeah. terrifying being let go. Yes. Because so, a lot of people are dealing yeah, with that. Yeah, believe mm -hmm. me, it was not uh, an easy experience. But you know what? God prepared me for that's it. Right. Mm -hmm. that's right. I released my book, um, mm -hmm. my book called Releasing the Fair and Walking in Faith. I released that in October of 2014. And two weeks and two days after that is when I got the call. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, God, I know you prepared me. Now it's time for me to release the fear mm -hmm. and walk in faith. That's right. Tell us a little, bit, yeah. about the, and tell us a little bit about the book. Because that says, it, that says so much, releasing the fear and walking in faith. Release the fear and walk in faith. My, my mentor um, about three years ago challenged me to come on her show and talk about fear. And she challenged me because she knew I had some fears in me. So she wanted me to go and research and talk about it and how can you overcome fear. And in doing that, you know, people who were on the call were sending messages. This was great. This empowered me. And it was like God pulling me and saying, okay, I want you to do some more with that. I want you to do some more. Mm -hmm. And that's where the book was really birthed. And I, you know, in October of 2014, I released that book. And in earlier this year, I re-released the book, including testimonies of 23 ladies who had to go, went through struggles in their life mm. and had to really step out on faith. Mm -hmm. And so it's been an awesome experience with the re-release, you know, because it allows me to connect with so many yes. other black ladies. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's where the whole collaborating, right. you know, came. That this is awesome. When you work with other people, what comes out of it? Exactly. Yeah. You can build. You can uh, yeah. build on her strength. She can build on That's yours. Right. And you guys have created something phenomenal. Because I said I have to get these two together mm -hmm. and and just speak to them. So now, so you deal with finances, yeah. and you know you hear so much about you know saving or or four one ks. What if you don't have enough? Is there a, such as not having enough? to save, to invest, to do this, to start your dream, to fund your dream, to be your own silent investor. What if you, for somebody that's making 30,000 and that's not a whole lot, what do you say? We have to work with what we have. Okay. We have to start somewhere, right? Okay. But it's, mm -hmm. So it starts with a budget. Okay. It starts with sitting down and saying, okay, I make $30,000, how am I gonna make this work for me okay. at this point in my life? And it's gonna take 
sacrifice. Yeah. It takes sacrifices. It takes maybe Cutting downsizing mm -hmm. where you're that. living. <laughs> it takes um, taking peanut butter sandwiches for lunch that's if that's right. what you have to do. Yeah. But it takes sacrifice. And it takes picking up the phone. A lot of times people don't realize that they can pick up the phone and call that bill company and ask them to reduce your rate. Just that's right. you can. That's ask right. them, you ask the credit card company to reduce your rate. If your mortgage, ask the mortgage company to refinance. I just had a story with this young lady the other day who said, the spirit said to her, call and ask them. Mm. And that was one of the things we spoke about at the conference. Ask, 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 ask. I have been asking. Ask. 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 Right. Well, we have so, to get into that too. Yeah, we, you know, she said she called and she asked. And she went from eighteen hundred dollars a month to fifteen hundred dollars a month. Wow, that's so There's nice. three hundred dollars. There's some money now where you yes. can go and invest or whatever it is that you want. Just or pay down some debt yeah. because you asked. Wow. Exactly. And was it easier to do it uh, in a team? As as because a, a lot of times I don't want to do stuff by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to take that daring leap by myself. Was some of the things yeah. we did separately, but yeah. some we decided let's get. Mm -hmm. When Kim got off work, we got together mm -hmm. and we got in our cars and we, yeah. you know, went to different places. Yeah, yeah this is what that we're is doing. And fantastic. And I think because us. God was in it, you yes. know, even the no's weren't hard no. Right. He prepared. Right. It's like, you know, we just can't do that at right this, you know, right. this time. We don't have the budget for it. It's okay. Next, Next time. time. So when you pick up the phone and you call them and you say, hello, my name is such and such, how does that work? When I called Walmart, I was like, because someone was telling me, because we do address the success. Okay. And they're sponsored by Walmart. So I was asking the young lady, how do you guys get your sponsors? She said, they can, you can go through community care. So she was like, just call them up and find out. So I called up Walmart. I got this lady named Heather. I'll never forget her because she was so nice. And I said, we're doing a conference, and we would like to know how do you get sponsors for vision boards and you know right. poster boards. And she was like, well, why don't we just give them to you? Why don't we just donate them to you? Wow. I'm like, okay, we can do that too. <laughs> we can do that too. We'll, take that. we'll take that. We'll take that. So she said, when do you need them? And I told her the date, and I went and picked them up. The, just the as easy as magic that. markers, the poster boards, the crayons. Yeah. And had you never opened your mouth exactly. and had the faith never to do that, you would have never, mm -hmm. you'd been buying your own And she board. had them literally ready when we got there. Ask. Yeah. <laughs> I got that. I want each of you, one at a time, speak to the camera, speak to somebody. How would you empower someone that you've never seen? You'll never know. How would you encourage them? What would you say to them at the beginning of this year? Just do it. Don't wait. Um, you know someone that you can network with, if you know someone that you can collaborate with, just do it. Do not let the days turn into months and turn into another year. Just get started. And once you get started, you can start to build the momentum from there, but you just have to do it. You, you can't, you have to do it. You gotta do it. Right. lifts someone. I would say, you know, like God plants these visions in our hearts. And if he puts them there, it means that he's already made the provision That's for right. it. Mm -hmm. So just step out. You know, Moses said, I am not eloquent enough in speech. Right. And what am I going to say to Pharaoh? And are the children of Israel going to believe me? These are some of the reasons why we never right. move forward. And so I just want to say to you, just step forward. Step out on faith. Because I didn't feel I was a writer when I, you know, um, started writing my book. I even questioned God, should I really be doing this? I'm an accountant, I'm a numbers person, but this is what he planted in my heart. This is what he wanted me to move forward with. And so just remember that God doesn't always call the, the equipped, but he definitely equips those he, who he calls. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about speechless. <laughs> that is beautiful. Ladies, I love, you know what I want you to do? I want you to, you know, I want you to empower her. And I want her to, I see you guys draw from each other. Right. You find something in each other. And I just think that's beautiful. That's co that's collaboration, that's mm -hmm. sisterhood, and that's partnership. So I want you to just, you know, speak a word of empowerment to Kim and Kim. And I want you to speak something to Renelli. I, I just, I don't know, I'm just feeling that. <laughs> People would think that Kim and I have been friends forever. Oh, that's and that's thought. not even the case. Right. Kim and I connected, and I think it was a God connection. Right. God wanted us to come together to support each other. And I just want you to know that um, 
I'm grateful right. that he brought us together. Right. Um, I'm grateful. I know what you have inside of you, and I know sometimes you don't even realize right. how much you mm -hmm. have. But I know that 2016 is going to be such a strong year for you, and I just want you to know that I'm here mm -hmm. to support you. I want you to know I'm here to um, mm -hmm. any advice that you need, anything that you need. I'm here. Okay. See, now I'm a cry baby. I saw this. Okay, that's okay. I'm a cry baby. But Renelli, you're so strong, and you don't know how you you pull, you 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 motivate me, and you empower me. And it's just like you said, it's just only from God that we linked up. Because you know, if you hadn't called, I don't know. I didn't. You know, I used to see you on Facebook or whatever the case is, but it wasn't like okay, let's just reach out. But it was just that God told you to reach out. And it was just ordained by God. So I just want to say thank you because you do pull from me. You do make me get up. You do make me work. I'm telling you. I love that. So thank you. <laughs> and I did that because even as women, a lot of times we don't value partnership. Right. A lot of times we don't just take a time out to, to build one another. And sometimes you have to see it in order to you know, follow the example. So I wanted somebody to see that, and hopefully right. they'll find somebody else, maybe a stranger. Maybe they'll be right. encouraged or empowered to collaborate right. with a stranger. And maybe oh, they'll no. see something in their, in, in their partner, in right. somebody, and, and build and empower and encourage that. So that's why I wanted to do that. But before so we thank go, you. Oh, thank, <laughs> you, thank, you, thank you ladies for what you're doing. Before we go, you mentioned having a coach. Now, I would, I would look at both of you, especially after coming to your workshop, and say, these ladies do not need a coach. But you have a coach. Why is that important? I think that every, I'm, I'm coaching people financially, mm -hmm. right? And if I want someone to draw from what I'm teaching, you know, I need to draw from someone else. Yes. You know, or else I won't be growing. Yes. You know, and that's what my coach, you know, does. She has a coach. Like, who is this? Who's your coach? She is. <laughs> she's my coach is April Franks Hunt. She has um, an awesome, awesome movement. Coach Speak and Serve. I mean, when I got connected with that group, maybe about a year and a half ago, and just seeing the camaraderie with everybody helping each other and just the growth and the wins that are posted and the challenges and when people post a challenge everybody, everybody jumps, jumps in, in and provides a, a response that was awesome and that all came from her yeah. and so I wanted more I wanted more and I reached out and you know she became my coach but it's been an amazing experience I've connected with so many different people because of that relationship mm -hmm. Kim and I connected um, closer because of that relationship mm -hmm. and so it's important. A coach is, is that person that's going to draw things out of you that you don't even realize that's, that's there. Right. You yeah, know, a it. person, yeah, person mm -hmm. that's going to give you advice. They're not going to give you the, you know, tell you, you do this and you go. They're going to give you advice and then you can, you make it your own. Okay. You know, and that's why I think it's so important for everybody to have a coach, have a mentor, have an accountability partner. Mm -hmm. Ladies, I pray that your story will encourage or empower somebody to, you know what, step out, step up out of their circle, out of their box, and to maybe reach out and say, you know, I don't have it all. I need to pull from somebody else. Let me partner with somebody else. And you know what, I don't know it all. Let me find somebody else so I can keep growing and learning. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I look forward to 2017. Yes. I'm telling you all over social media, I just lift, 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 yeah. lift, 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 yes. Yeah. Thank you for lifting me. I have to Aww. say that from your workshop. Thank you for lifting me and all the. I, I'm sure I speak for all the other ladies that were there. Thank you for lifting us and empowering us thank and encouraging us. And I thank you for the women that are mm -hmm. watching this that you have lifted and empowered. Mm -hmm. Ladies, get your finances right. Ladies, if you want to speak and train, step out That's and do it. do it. Let's say goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>